Because that is very taxing on the old noggin. And the noggin is old. It's willing, but it's old. It kicks in after about two or three rounds. And then it goes down after four or five rounds. And then it comes back up for the last two. <laughs> so, but real, uh, real, real this situation. Uh, yes. Also, we haven't started testing it yet, but we have um, lost Parabox ready for post-rotation testing. I was looking at the list and I was like, you know what? This looks actually like genuinely really good. I'm hoping we get a chance to use it. <laughs> I still don't like it, but you know, it's there. Uh, you know what? We're going first. We might as well just play everything down. You know what I mean, chat? Jirachi start. I have no idea what you're playing based on that, so that's awesome. Give me a floor selecting. Uh, this card is like so much less useful. Now that like, uh, brain. Now that like cross switcher and stuff exists, like it doesn't do anything. Hello, Scorpio Gaming. How's it going, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I, I like. I do like the Lost Diagonalist. I don't want to play Lost anything, though, ever. But I'll still give it a test, because I feel relatively competent with it. Relatively being the operative word. It's a Lugia deck, okay. Okay, notes made. From the US here. Welcome via the UK. Okay, uh, which time zone? Are you five hours or seven hours behind? Wait, is it more than seven? How far is the West Coast behind? Because the East Coast is five, right? CST tells me nothing. I'm stupid. I'm British. I'm sorry. I only know GMT and BST. And UTC plus one. Six hours. Ah, okay. So it is uh, two o'clock. Did you have a good lunch? How was your lunch? <laughs> Streamer knows. Streamer knows. There are four time zones in the US. I'm about to get educated on time zones. This is actually really cool. So there's a, there's a mountain time. The western east coast. And CST. I don't know what CST is. That's new to me. Central. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know. I just made... Yeah. Central. Uh, yeah, that seems like a correct card to grab. So from west to east, it goes. Oh. I mean, that's a tough choice right there. We'll go with a Mesa Goza. Hmm, I love hitting tails. It's my favorite. Okay, uh, in that case, <laughs> switch into the crab. Double check we've got enough before I do something stupid. Touch there, and then we go. Over energize. Bingo, bango. And we continue. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, General Mountain Time. <gasps> You're gonna GMT too? I'm a GMT. <laughs> That's Greenwich Mean Time. It's always Mean Time. Central Standard Time. I'm waiting for the last one. I'm excited. Ooh, hello there. EST, stand, East, Eastern Standard Time. I thought EST was in. Uh, Oh, I can't remember her name now. I thought EST was uh, Bianca Bella from... Uh... Bianca Bella? That's, that's right. Yeah, Bianca Bella from WWE. She's the EST, right? I still don't know what that means. They just say EST like you're supposed to know. <laughs> well, we always saw the Ocops go in. We knew that was the... Ooh, this is a... Uh... This is a rough one. EST means established. Well, she says she's the EST of WWE. She's the established of the Worldwide Entertainment System. What a silly name. I don't like that. Also, no one's calling it the, st the system. <laughs> That's just me being uh, a dumb, dumb duty head. I'm genuinely surprised we haven't seen a V-God NG go on that. I'm also surprised we didn't see an Iron Hands player. The Sableye would probably, like, come up in this matchup. 
we got rid of one. I don't remember. I can't remember how many this deck plays. No, not the Mesagoza. More like the Mesagonza. Am I right, chat? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I know what I need to see. There's no guarantees we see it, so I think we'll be sensible. Um... Would it be worth keeping? I think we go for this. And then we can figure out what we can do after that, based on what we see happen. Streamer sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Because I do chat. I always know what I'm talking about. Um, Give me an escape rope. I'm not a huge TCG player, but I do have lots of codes and have done a bit of unorthodox deck tinkering. Ooh! I'm enjoying that phrasing. Yeah, confet. We'll select some flowers. Yeah, I think we go that way. It's a bit of a weird one this late in the game, but I think we go for Radiant Greninja. We just do some digging. Okay. There's nothing else I feel like we need to do here. We'll enter. I run an origin form Dialga deck with the Giga Magnet Magnezone, but with my own twist. Would you like to spoil said twist? I do I do like the build. Um I do find it can be quite clunky sometimes, but I think if you're looking at playing that in post rotation and you're switching the uh, switching the Magnezones to Batang, I think that's a, a better build. Not that it's gone that well from testing, but you know. <laughs> Giga Chadna. All right, so here comes Mr. Hands. I was about to say, I need to see one more card, but actually I don't. That's pretty pog. I also run a Darkrai V plus Arceus V-Star deck. Yo, how does that, how does that run? I'm enjoying the fact we're burning a lot of energy to retreat things. Yep, yeah, we're going to lose um, Jirachi here. That's f uh, Comfort here for two prizes. That's fine. I've got thoughts and feelings. Uh, we have to do this. I always forget Star Cronus has one colorless cost. Uh, hello? Yes, that's Manaphy. Thank you for showing me. Oh, this game is so bad. All right. Uh, pop that bad boy on there. Then we're going to go boss's orders. We'll take the Lumineon. Then we will simply Star Cronus. We are absolutely loving life. Oh, that's even better. That's mean. Okay, so, we're doing 240, perfect. Counter catcher, bring me the hands. Give me a conceal cards. Man, I do not care for the cards we have available to us. Um, I'd love to see a normal... Like, it's just a way to get Dialga down, but we don't have one. Um, I would... Part of the peak and Roxanne. Do we just not have another one? Is that what I'm learning? That's fine. We can metal blast for the knockout. We don't get return KO'd, and we need one more metal energy on the Dialga to take the knockout on V Star. He really turned it around just like that. Uh, the Origin Form deck has a few niche cards like Radiant Jirachi and the Silver Tempest Metagross with Emergency Entrance slash Exit. I can't remember what the ability is called. Yes, I know the one. Uh, Maybe mine played a stall deck of Arceus that ran that as well. It was uh, annoying. It was really annoying to deal with. <laughs> so our main problem right now is Radiant Charizard. But we have Path in play, so hopefully that stalls it out. 
I'm going to be absolutely honest. I didn't think about that until just now. I didn't put Path to the I didn't put Path to the Peak in play with that in mind. <laughs> that could have been uh could have been disastrous. So why are we gonna see the Snorlax? I don't think we have any more gusting options. I think we had a choice between some and boss earlier, but yeah, we got rid of the boss. So this is uh this is a smart way to deal with it. All we need now is a way to take a KO elsewhere. We also have this. Um, the Cramorant doesn't solve our issue. Like, I still think we lose because we don't really have much else going on. Uh... I think we attach a Metal Energy here. The problem is I don't know how much Metal Energy is still in the deck. I don't want to waste this to find out. I think we just take the Metal Blast knockout and just see where we are. Okay. Ah, that's in play though, so that doesn't really help us either. Ooh, I pet. Uh, pair the Metagross with the Dendra card so I can put it back into the deck. I can't remember what Dendra does. I've seen it a million times. I can't remember what it does. But that's 8 energy. 9, 10. There's probably 4 or 5 energy left in the deck. Okay, we're down to DT. That's fine. Yeah, you can keep the path in play, that's fine. I'm sure there's a boss's orders coming my way in a second. But we'll do everything we can to make sure it's, it's not a huge thing. Okay, there's Colorus. So, give me a Flower Select. Uh, put one card in your hand back into your deck besides Dendra, then draw it until you have five cards. Ah, okay. So, we go... Grab them three back. We're not going to do a whole lot of damage here, but we do get to live, which is nice. We can't use both of these at the same time, which is really annoying. My kingdom for uh, two supporters in one turn. Honestly, that's all I care about right now. My kingdom for scoop up net right now. If boss is in hand, then it's game over anyway. But we, we've, we've played to the outs. Skip up net. Love that card. <laughs> it would be very handy right here. Very handy. You got a Discord server or something? I do. Uh, it is there. Two supporters, the judge comes and disqualifies you. <laughs> nah, be alright. Be fine. Rut row. This is concerning. Interested to see what happens here. But there's not a lot of energy left. Five. Is that enough? Not a path to the peak in play. But also, we don't have enough damage right now. We only use two Mirage Gates. We still hit both the Mirage Gates, which is nice. We need both of the Metal Engies. My decks are quite flashy, by the way. Because <laughs> this guy showed off his flashy decks. Okay, that's not what we need. So, yeah, we need two more. So we need the manual and we need the mirage. 
That doesn't do it. Uh... Oh, we need... Yeah, we're good, actually. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. So we... Let's get rip. I was panicking then. Then attach into retreat. I nearly attached straight to the Dialga then as well before I even finished all that setup. <laughs> 16 gold energy cards. Wow. So shiny. How do you find your cards? Aren't you blinded all the time? GG Milky, GG. I won prize. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, hitting the counter catcher off the prizes there was like huge.